Can I get my first two poets on stage? Can I get Bree Castellini and Randy Darris to the stage, please? Come on, Randy, chop chop. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, please. Randy wins, decides to go second. So please give it up for your first poet. And our first bout of the first round, give it up for Bree Castellini. A blood, a blood, blood. So you're gonna vote for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> dear God, dear Jesus, dear Holy Spirit, huh? which one of you listens to the prayers anyways? Or can I pick and choose, like maybe I'm just in a Holy Spirit mood today? <laughs> Whatever. Dear, whichever member of the Holy Trinity is answering the phone today, what the hell is your problem? Sorry, I should clarify. If you, dear God, are the God that's down with the good-hearted non-believers, then we cool. And I'm very sorry to have bothered you. But if you, dear Jesus, are the Jesus that requires absolute faith as a prerequisite to a comfortable afterlife, then the question stands. What in the holy fuck is your problem? Demanding unwavering faith is the trick of a tyrannical egotist. What the fuck was the point of free will if we're just gonna get punished for using it? That's like giving a little boy a toy train and then grounding him as soon as he rolls it around after making a choo-choo sound that isn't accurate enough. Dear Holy Spirit, what? Why? And what plane of existence does that make sense? What about the woman who works tirelessly with nonprofits, teach impoverished third world girls to read, and has her Sundays free to spread the word of secular charity because she doesn't go to or believe in church? Hellfire? That's her reward? Dear God, bullshit. When I was five, I offered the folds of my goofy dresses to anyone with a scrape in order to staunch their bleeding. And when I was eight, I opened my hand to the boy whose only goal in life was to make mine miserable because he looked lonely. And when and I've had my heart broken seven or eight times, dear Jesus. And though my poetry between the ages of 11 and 18 may showcase otherwise, I'm not bitter. Because loving and being loved is the most incredible experience a human being can be a part of, even with the fighting over minutia and the meeting of respective parents. And I believe, dear Holy Spirit, that every human being has the, uh, should have their support and respect to do so as well, regardless of their gender and the gender of the human being that they love. Love is a buzzword that your most prolific followers use to justify their hate. And the thought of their bio-filled hearts being welcomed into the for the mere fact that they believed, well, I understand why Lucifer fell. Dear God, dear Jesus, dear Holy Spirit, dear Westboro Baptist Church, dear Rush Limbaugh, dear that one angry Republican guy in my high school AP Gov class, if my unwillingness to get down on my knees and suck the teat of ignorance and hate and faith bars me from your heavenly gates, then by all means, send me into the depths of hell. You're obviously not the type of people I want to spend my afterlife with anyways. <laughs> Dear everyone else, I'll probably see you down there, and what the hell, the first round's on me.